And here we are back with another component on our PC build for 2018. And right now we are going to talk a little bit about the i7-8700K, which is the CPU that I'm using. And guys, with no intro at all, let's dive into it. Now, let's start as always with a very quick unboxing experience. As you guys can see on screen, we will uh, open the package and we will find the CPU. It's a beautiful thing. Not only this one, but any CPU is just beautiful to look at it. And truth be told, we can't do anything at all with, uh, with the CPU by itself, but it is a beautiful piece of technology. Now, that being said, we will need to uh, put in the CPU into the motherboard and assemble all the system as you guys may have seen on previous videos. But once we have all that, then we have a working system based on the i7 8700 Okay, now guys, looking a little bit at the past, my previous CPU was four generations ago, as well i7-4770K, which was and is a great CPU for uh, most of the tasks that we have. But just comparing four generations, and if you are expecting four synthetic benchmarks, guys, the web is full of them, uh, Geekbench, Cinebench, and so on and so forth. Although I love them, I wanted to bring something to the table, which is real-world performance in a application that uses CPU and RAM, that is it, period, CPU and RAM, which is valuable for those of you that are wondering if it's uh, uh, worth it to upgrade for the i7-8700K or not. So, leaving the chit chat, guys, in terms of results using After Effects and using one of my templates, which is the Dramatic Film Strip Photos, and I'll show you guys on screen a few images, and also I will leave a link down below so that you guys can take a look at my portfolio and see the kind of projects that I work on. This is the software that I use most of the time. As I said, it uses CPU and RAM. And the GPU here is almost ignored. Now, guys, what I can say is that in the past, the i7-4770K rendered this particular project, and it still renders today, in 25 minutes. No overclock whatsoever, as you guys can see on screen, 25 minutes, which is great. And I will uh, mention what is great when I'll show you a graphic uh, with some more machines, and you can take a few laughs right over there. Now, when I do compare with the i7-8700K, guess what, and take a look at there, so the title is not misleading, it takes less than half the time, well, half the time that uh, the i7-4770K took, which is exactly 12 minutes and 26 seconds, which is huge. And I know we are talking about four generations here, but usually uh, there is a 20 or 30 percent increase, but never 50 percent like I did right over here. So this is one of the things that I'm really happy with the system, working great, looking great, and with a great performance. So basically, that is it, guys. For those of you that are on the fence, if you should upgrade or not, it really depends. If you have a workflow uh, similar to mine, it is possibly a good time to build a new system with the i7-8700K and take advantage of these great speeds. On the other hand, if you have a machine with the Aswell generation, if you are using it only for games and so on and so forth, then probably you're going to get a few more frames per second. But even though, is it worth it? It will depend and only you guys will be able to decide as I did uh, for myself. The important is that the information that it's on the video hopefully will be useful for some of you guys out there. And if it is, then thumbs up for you and thumbs up for me as well. And uh, a huge thumbs up for the community in general. Now, I'm almost finished up this uh, mini-series. The next video will be about the overclock, my opinion, my results, and so on and so forth. And then I have two more videos, which will be one very quick guide how to assemble a computer and also a Hackintosh guide for this particular system, which is already working with Mac OS, High Sierra, and almost everything uh, uh, working well. I only have one issue or two, but uh, for the most part, working well, stable, and so on and so forth. And that being said, guys, once again, a thumbs up for you over there. My name is Roberto George, and I'll see you on the next one.